Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections here. Today's topic is air admittance valves. Also known sometimes as cheater vents. It's these devices that take the place of a traditional vent in a plumbing system. You see, in a drain waste and vent system, all plumbing fixtures are supposed to be connected to a vent. It's a device that passes up through the roof and allows air into the drains to replace water as it disappears. That's what a vent does. Now, in a lot of the country, people are allowed to use what's called an air admittance valve. It's something that takes the place of a traditional vent. And I stopped by the store and I bought a bunch of them. And I'm in Minnesota here. They're not allowed in Minnesota. Our plumbing code specifically prohibits the use of air admittance valves or, well, they don't say air admittance valve. It says you can't use any type of mechanical vent. So none of these things are legal in Minnesota, but they're all sold here. So somebody's using them. Uh, I've got a few of them here. I've got a sure vent made by Odie. I've got a Studer vent made by, I don't know, Studer, I think. And I've got a turbo vent made by the fine folks at Sioux Chief. So I'm going to test out all three of these. And I'm, I'm going to do two different tests. I'm going to do one test to kind of check to make sure that sewer gases don't leak back into the house when these things are connected. And then I'm going to actually disconnect the vent in my kitchen sink. I'm going to hook up each one of these and I'm going to drain water through my kitchen sink. And we're going to listen because as I was talking about these during a CE class that I was teaching, I had somebody in the room ask me, do these things hiss when water's draining through there? Do they make noise? And do they work? I said, eh, that sounds like a good question. I'll make a video to cover that. So first off, I, you know, I got a mess on my table here. I laid out all this stuff because I want to show you what I'm doing. I, I put this little conglomeration of fittings together. Basically, I've got an air admittance valve at the top. I've got a valve so I can shut off air to it. I've got a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge is upside down. It should be that way. And then I've got a valve here that lets me connect this to connect this to my air compressor. Okay, so now I'm gonna hook this device up to my air compressor. I've got the air pressure dialed down on my air compressor, so it's only about five to ten psi coming out of the air compressor. Uh, that's way more than a drain waste and vent system is ever going to experience. But we're gonna pressurize this system, and then we're gonna disconnect it. We're gonna make sure that it holds that pressure for a little while. So we'll hook it up here. And now I've pressurized the system. I'm going to close this valve off, hold that pressure, disconnect it, and it's going to hold that pressure forever. I've got a pressure gauge on here. It says that it's actually pressurized. I'm just going to let that sit for a while. We'll come back in like an hour and I'll try opening this valve up and see what happens. Okay, here we are. It's about an hour later. My heart rate has completely returned to normal, and I'm going to release the pressure. Now you're just going to have to listen for this. There it was. It was holding pressure the whole time. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to hook this up to my kitchen sink, and we're going to see how it sounds and when it's actually acting like a vent. Okay, so I have disabled the vent at my kitchen sink. I've got an island vent here. Just disconnected it and I installed a Studer vent. We're starting with the Studer vent made by IPS Corporation. I'm going to pull the stopper of my kitchen sink drain. And I'll replace the stopper. Exciting, right? Okay. So what's the takeaway here? The takeaway is that air admittance valves do work. They allow air into drains to replace water as it leaves, and they prevent water from being siphoned out of traps, which is the whole purpose of an air admittance valve. Okay, so I just said at the end of that clip that that's all, then one of the inspectors on my team, Inspector Joe, also Plumber Joe, Joe is a home inspector and a licensed plumber, he brought up to me that I should really do another test on these showing what happens when it's already installed and you have a clog at a sink drain. Let's say the clog is happening down in the basement. And I thought, yeah, that's a, that's a good valid point because if you have water that, or sewage that wants to back up into the sink, 
Wouldn't it be logical that it might back up out of your air admittance valve and make a big old mess inside your sink cabinet? Great point, Joe. So I'm doing that test too. I ran to the store, I picked up a utility sink, I set it up in my garage, I've got a trap here, I've got a GoPro going down at the bottom here recording all this. We got water in here. And so I'm gonna head down here, I'm gonna see if I can get this GoPro to start recording at the same time that this is going. We'll go ahead and pull the stopper and hopefully no air comes spurting out of this admittance valve. That was so uneventful, wasn't it? Wow, that's exactly what it should have been. And just to prove that we actually have air, or what we have pressure up against here, I'm gonna unscrew this here, and then water will start leaking out. At least that's the idea. That's what I expect. I wonder if it's come out too fast. So I'll never get this back in. There we go, it's coming out. Okay, there's test number one, super exciting, and we'll do test number two, we'll test the other air admittance valves, we'll do the same thing with those. I repeated the same test two more times, I used the other two air admittance valves that I had purchased, did the same test, neither one of them leaked, and then just out of curiosity, I was trying to get one of them to leak, I actually took the whole assembly and I turned the thing upside down, right side up, upside down, I flipped it back and forth a bunch of times sure that that was going to get it to leak and it still didn't leak so no matter what I did I couldn't get these things to leak what would be potentially sewage so the conclusion here is I have no problem with these things at all they don't meet code that's really all I have to say about them as far as performance I wouldn't hesitate to put one in my own home and where people use them everywhere else in the country I, I haven't heard of any issues I, I think they work just fine there too so that's everything that I can possibly think of to say about air admittance valves. And now, as your reward for watching this whole darn thing, please enjoy some bloopers. The, the testing for, that, for those air admittance valves under pressure really didn't go well at all for me. I did a bunch of editing to make it seem like it went smoothly, but it was far from that. So enjoy. So first off, I'm gonna show you that as water leaves, air will get sucked into this. You should be able to hear it. I'm, I'm going to suck on this. It's probably not sanitary, but well, that's what my immune system's for. Let's see. <coughs> there's, there's glue resin and gases in here. That wasn't a good idea at all. I should have tried, <laughs> I should have tried that before filming it. I think I'm getting lightheaded. That was stupid. Now I'm going to hook up the air compressor. I'm going to hook up this fitting to the end. Wow. We're going to try that again. Okay, take two. As I think through what I just did, I realized that was really stupid. Just open it a little bit. Here. We're going to slowly increase that pressure to get it up to 5 psi. Hopefully it's not going to explode in my face this time. That was loud. <laughs> 